What the heck? It's grayed out. What the heck? You gotta be. Hi everyone, welcome to Inverter Always. I'm Dana. In today's video, we'll discuss two ways to connect your Daikin One smart thermostat to Wi-Fi so that you can update the software, download any of the latest features, and control your Daikin One from anywhere in the world. Let's jump right in. All right, you guys, so as we get started, there are two ways to connect the Daikin One to Wi-Fi. The first way, which we will discuss in just a minute, is usually done during the initial power-up process, uh, which is also usually during the initial uh, installation process. Now, if you've already gone through and commissioned your Daikin One controller, then that's fine. You can connect to Wi-Fi uh, simply through the settings, which we'll discuss as well later in the video. Regardless of which method you are using today, it's very important that at some point the Daikin One controller is connected to Wi-Fi because you're going to need the latest software updates downloaded, which also includes some of the newest features. Now, if you don't have Wi-Fi available on site, you can use your hotspot, of course, but if you don't have a hotspot either, simply power up the Daikin One back at your office. You do not need to uh, connect it and communicate with any equipment. You can simply just power it up and then at that point connect it to the Wi-Fi at your office so that it can download the latest updates and then take it back to the job site to install and commission. All right, let's get started. All right, so the first thing we're going to look at you guys is connect and power up your Daikin One controller. Once your Daikin One controller powers up, if this is the first time you're powering up the Daikin One controller, you'll see that you need to select the language that you're going to be using. And then I also like to select use large fonts. Uh, it just makes it easier to see. Next, go ahead and click continue. Now you'll see in this example here that we do not have VRV equipment available to select. It's dimmed. It's because that software is not installed. So for now, just go ahead and click on unitary and then click on begin setup. Now to get to Wi-Fi, you simply click on communication and then click on home Wi-Fi. It is disconnected right now. We need to connect it. So we're going to go ahead and click on home Wi-Fi now. And then we're going to click on the networks. Now the Daikin One will scan for any available networks. And once these networks populate, go ahead and select the network that you need to connect to and then plug in the password. Now, the icons are very small, so you need to be careful. Make sure you get it typed in properly and then click on Done. The Daikin One controller will then connect to that Wi-Fi network. And once it's done this, you'll see that it will connect to the internet and then it will connect to the Daikin One cloud. And it says, hey, new software has been detected. So now the Daikin One will go through the download process. I'm going to go ahead and speed this up. This can take up to five minutes to complete. Once it's complete, it will tell you that it needs to reboot. Now you saw there just a moment ago, I had a communication error. That's because I had originally selected unitary products when I'm actually connected to VRV, but it's fine because we're gonna have to go through the actual commissioning process after we connect it to Wi-Fi anyways. So once the Daikin One controller reboots, we can now go through an actual commissioning process. Now, we're not going to go through commissioning in this video. We'll do that in another video. Um, but just for the sake of getting through, you can see now that we have the VRV equipment selected. So we're going to go ahead and select VRV equipment. That way we can get on to a future step. Now, it can take up to five minutes for the Daikin One to actually connect to the equipment. But once it does, you'll see that VRV has a little dot that fills in. Go ahead and click next, start to start the begin setup option. And then again, I'm just going to go through this really quickly here and speed it up because this is not a commissioning video. 
All right, so once you complete commissioning, now we're to the point where uh, if you are at the home screen and you need to change which Wi-Fi network you're connected to or now you're going to set it up for the first time, you simply click on the setting icon at the top right, click settings, click configuration, and then click on home Wi-Fi. And then from here, it's the exact same as before. Click on networks. It's going to scan for a network. Click on the network that you want to connect to. And then you're going to type in the password. Again, be very careful typing in the password because these uh, icons on the touch screen are very small. Once you have typed in the password correctly, go ahead and click on done. And this is going to connect to whatever Wi-Fi network now you want to select. All right, you guys, so now that we're connected to Wi-Fi, we're all done, congratulations. There is one other thing that I wanted to show you though. You can connect your Daikin One thermostat to the Daikin One Home app, and this allows you to monitor your house and control each of your Daikin One thermostats via the Daikin One Home app on your tablet or smartphone. And this is available for both iOS and Android devices. So let's take a look at how to do that now. All right, so the first thing you guys are gonna do is click on the top right icon of the Daikin One controller. That's gonna get you into the settings menu. Go ahead and click on settings and then click on configuration. Once you're in there, go ahead and click on account and it's gonna give you a six digit code. Write that down, it's very important. Now go ahead and download the Daikin One home app. Again, this is available on iOS and Android devices in the Play Stores. Just go ahead and get that app downloaded, and then we're gonna go back to the app. Now back at the app, we're gonna go ahead and click Create Account. Go ahead and uh, click on Agree. And now you're gonna type in your name and email and password. This is going to be the email you want to associate with the account and whatever password you feel like using. All right, once you guys go ahead and create the account, you're going to get an email with a six digit confirmation code. This is a different six digit code than what your Daikin One smart thermostat just gave you. Go ahead and go to your email, get that six digit code, and then plug it in back here at the app. Once you've done this, go ahead and click on login and now you should be able to log in with the credentials you've just created. Once you've logged in, go ahead and create a location name. This would be home or vacation home. I'm gonna call it Pacific Northwest just in case I'm in other areas of the country later. This is just for this example. The next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna plug in the address for this location. It's important for two reasons. First is so that you have proper weather data displayed on the Daikin One controller. And the other is for remote monitoring purposes. If you set up any sort of a maintenance agreement or service contract with the contractor, he can actually get information, alerts, error codes directly from your Daikin One controller. So having the address is important. Technically, you can put in whatever you want. As long as you have the state and the zip code plugged in, you should be fine. So once we've set up our location, now we can go ahead and add our thermostat, and this is when that six digit code comes in handy. Go ahead and click on add thermostat, and then plug in that six digit code that was on your Daikin One screen just a few moments ago. Once you plug in that six, six digit code, which is unique to each Daikin One controller, by the way, it's gonna go ahead and it's going to connect. Once it connects, it's gonna take you to the home screen. What's really cool about how Daikin has developed this app is it looks and functions exactly like the Daikin One thermostat. So once you get comfortable with the thermostat, you don't have to relearn how to use an app because it looks and functions exactly the same way as the Daikin One thermostat. So it's very handy to change schedules. You can turn on your geofencing features from here as well, along with on off and set point control. Well guys, that's it for today. If you enjoyed the video, please click the like button below. It really helps out the channel. And if you have any questions or comments or ideas for future videos that you would like to see, please make sure you leave them in the comments below. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and click that notification bell so you don't miss out on any future content. 
Thank you so much for watching Inverter Always. I hope you have an awesome day.